This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys the best juicers of 2022. Now, the one thing that amazes me so much is that there are videos, best juicers of 2022, that came out in halfway through 2021. And a matter of fact, a lot of the best of videos that you might see on YouTube, in my personal opinion, is just a person that's not a juicer expert mishmashing different clips together to sell you some juicers that are on a big box website that they get a commission from. And I'll be the first to tell you guys that I believe that I am the number one juicer expert in the entire world. How do I prove this? Well, I've been selling juicers online for over 20 years. I have more videos on juicers and equipment to process fruits and vegetables online than anybody else that I know of. <laughs> And the other thing is I almost juice almost every day and I do juice, you know, especially in the last several years, I drink juice every single day and I've been drinking juice continually for about 27 years now. Juicing is an integral part of my life and I like to share that with you guys and share with you guys my expert commentary and my expert tips and tricks. So I encourage you guys not to listen to just some rando video on YouTube but the guy that you know makes videos about all kinds of best of things they probably don't know nothing about juicers in my personal opinion that's just my opinion now the next thing I want to say is that if you guys en enjoy my work appreciate the videos that I make I would encourage you guys to support me and make your purchase at discountjuicers.com that is my company and that directly supports me so I can power my lights buy my produce and make these videos for you guys because you know I want to give back I want to give you guys more than you will get from me I mean you might get a juicer from me once or something like that but I'm here to educate you before the sale I have hundreds maybe even thousands of hours of videos online comparing and contrasting two different juicers or even a juicer and a vacuum blender against each other so that you guys could learn the exact right appliance for you. So before you go out and buy a juicer based on this one video, please watch some of my other videos which are on my YouTube channel so you can kind of get a better feeling of the juicers because as much as I'm going to say these are the best juicers of 2022, you know, I like each of them for specific reasons. So the next thing I'd like to say is that if you guys enjoy my content, appreciate my videos and want me to make more videos and you continue to do these juice off tests and have gained knowledge from my videos so that you didn't have to go out and buy an expensive juicer and make an expensive mistake, please support me by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. That allows me to continue to power my lights, create these videos for you guys to help you guys out, but also know this, you're helping me out so that I could literally you know, pay all my bills and do everything I need to do in life. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Plus, the other thing is when you buy from Discount Juicers, you get a lot of pre-sale information and knowledge in form of these videos. You also get pre-sale support. You can co contact me directly on my website at Discount Juicers, link down below in the description. And I will answer your pre-sale questions to make sure you guys get the right juicer for you. That is the most important thing in my book is that you guys get the right juicer and more importantly, you use it on a regular basis so that you guys can get the benefits from it. So I want to thank you guys who will support me instead of supporting a big box store that wants to take over the you know world. I'm just here spreading the knowledge of good health, trying to make a difference in the world. I kind of think of myself as like, you know, going to your farmer's market and support your local farmer instead of some big agri company out there. You know, vote with your dollars, guys. And I appreciate when you guys vote with your dollars, spend them with discount juicers so that I can continue uh, to do my work, which I enjoy so much. So thank you in advance for those of you guys that will support me. And I want to thank you guys for all you guys who have supported me in the path. It is much appreciated. So now let's get into introducing the best juicers of 2022. And I know you're thinking, you're thinking, John, that is not a juicer. That's a blender. And a blender is different than a juicer because blenders blend and mix everything up together and break down the particle sizes. And most Traditional blenders can do lots of oxidative damage to the produce or whatever you're blending as proven by scientific published studies. And you're right, blenders make smoothies, not juices. I don't even like to say the word total juices because to me, to me that's an oxymoron. 
Um, so what I say is that if you use a vacuum blender, not a traditional blender, because the difference with a vacuum blender is you remove the excess oxygen before you're basically breaking up all the cell walls to release all those valuable phytonutrients, minerals, and vitamins. So then you get a smoothie of whatever you made, but then you put it through the best nut milk bags, Alexa's nut milk bags, to basically separate out just some of the in soluble fiber. Of course, the soluble fiber dissolves in water, so you're going to keep the soluble fiber when you juice with the bags, but you also will keep the soluble fiber in these juicers. So yes, I am recommending vacuum juicing now. Links down below to more in-depth videos. This is just meant as a short introductory video that explains a concept where you basically blend your mixture under vacuum without oxygen. So actually, technically, this makes higher quality juice than those two over there. But then you gotta squeeze it out through a nut milk or juice bag. This is the Alexa's juice bag, is my favorite. And uh, thereby you have a juicer. Now, you know, th there's pros and cons to juicing in this fashion. Like there are pros and cons of the juicers over here. So first I wanna just go ahead and run through the different machines that are the best of 2022. And over on this side, we have the NAMA J2. This was introduced in fourth quarter, 2022, maybe late third quarter, and sold out within like a week. And then they came back in and they sold out again. And hopefully by the time you're getting this, they got actually them in stock. But if you don't, if they don't have in stock, order as soon as possible so that you're in line so that when they do come back in stock, they it can be shipped out to you. The challenge is, you know, uh, there's issues with things coming into port at Long Beach and a lot of the juicers literally are sitting off the coast of California. <laughs> Hopefully it's been resolved by the time you're watching this. That's number one, NAMA J2 juicer, best juicer of 2022. Next juicer of 2022 came out after the NAMA J2. This is the Santa 727. This machine uh, was designed in Europe and all these machines today are actually made in South Korea. South Korea makes the best appliances uh, for juicing and processing vegetables that I've seen. Uh, but this one was designed in Europe, made in South Korea. It took them literally three years to develop and build. I think actually it took NAM about three years also to develop and build from the ground up. It's different than other juicers out there. Both these juicers are different than other juicers out there. And I have many videos on comparing these two and why these are superior than other similar juicers that may look similar. Anyways, this model is a little bit different. This is a horizontal single auger machine. This is a vertical single auger machine. So these are both single auger machines. And of course, over here, we have the Dynapro 2250 came out in May 2021. And uh, with the Alexa's nut milk bags that are just now being released, I've had these for at least six months, but now you guys could probably get your hands on them yourself so that now with the Dynapro, you can vacuum juice with the bags as well. And now here's the thing. Each one of these different juicers have different pros and cons, right? Um, this machine is the best if you want to be able to juice in the morning and not have to push things in and not babysit your juicer. And that way it will save you time. I'll put links down below to these juicers and the blender making juice and you can see how they are operated. So everybody has an idea of how much work they want to put in to make the juice so that they could drink it and be healthy. And I'm going to say, you know, you don't get muscles by sitting at home on the couch. You got, if you want muscles, you got to work out at the gym or I prefer to work out in my garden, lifting heavy things and all this kind of stuff. And same thing with juicing, right? You got to put the effort in. So while this one, you can just load up and it is super simple and easy to load up, press the machine, turn it on, you come back, there's a glass of juice. It is more difficult to clean than both these machines. I'll be getting into cleaning in a little bit. So that's really the main benefit of this is that you could, you could use your time to do something else instead of juicing, but you know, you will be cleaning longer because of it. So that's why I like the NAMA. I like the 727 because it produces the highest quality juice with the least amount of aeration for any single auger style juicer because of the low 40 RPMs. Also, it has a motor that could run longer than either of these other two machines. This has a no time limit motor because that is a brushless DC motor. This is the highest quality motor in, of either of these two machines right here. And also, I like that this has a full 15-year warranty. Over on the Dynapro 2250, 
I like this machine because it extracts the most nutrients overall and extracts the highest quality juice. So if that's the most important to you, highest quality juice and most nutrients, you will probably likely want to go with the vacuum blender using it as a juicer with the Alexa's nut milk bags. Because honestly, guys, this is going to get the pulp dry as dry as a $2,000, $2,500 press. Link down below to that video where I demonstrate that myself. So as you guys can see, you, you learn some of the differences between these machines. They each work a little bit differently. And they all could juice, but here's the thing. How many kids do you guys have? Maybe if you're lucky enough to have three kids, I could only hope to have three kids one day. I want to have lots of kids one of these days if I find a partner. But nonetheless, if, if you have like one kid that's like really good with computers and he's like the nerdy, geeky dude, and if you're having problems with your iPhone, that's the kid you're going to ask. Maybe you got one kid that's really into sports, right? And that guy, if you ask your kid that's into sports, like how to do your iPhone, maybe he knows how to do that too, but he's not going to be as, as you know, knowledgeable about like technical problems as your computer, um, you know, child. <laughs> and the, but maybe you got to like, you're going to play a two on two game in basketball with your next door neighbor. And that's the kid you want to grab because you don't want to grab the nerdy guy that's not good at sports. You want to grab the sports guy so that you could win, right? And maybe you have, you know, your daughter is good at music. You know, and you have to play guitar with, with uh, you know, one of your kids at an open mic night. You're not going to take the, 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 the athletic guy or the nerdy guy. They probably don't play music as well as your daughter that learned how to play music and isn't really focused on that because that's their really main talent. And, you know, here's the thing. That's how I see the machines. Each one of these machines have their own little talent. And what you want to do is you want to match the talent with you know, your specific needs. So maybe your needs is, John, I grow microgreens and sprouts and wheatgrass, and I just wanted you straight leafy greens because leafy greens are the best thing, the healthiest thing that I could juice, uh, you know, to get them into me. And if you're doing straight leafy greens, this guy's really not going to juice straight leafy greens in the NEMA. While it can juice straight leafy greens, it does tend to have some challenges juicing only leaves, um, I'll underline that. Only straight leaves because they don't really go down into the hopper that easily. It could take excessive running times, although it can work. Um, you know, it will also create a lot of excess foam in the juice, which is oxidation. So for that reason, you know, for straight leafy greens or sprouts and wheatgrass, you definitely want to go with the Santa 727. The J2, you know, there's videos online showing it can't juice straight wheatgrass if you just cut it up. But there are techniques that you can juice straight wheatgrass in the J2. You have to check my videos for that because I show how it involves cutting the wheatgrass into little quarter inch pieces, dropping them in, and it's really a pain, and, and you probably shouldn't be doing that. You just got to get the right tool for the right job, okay? So we learned the, really the Santa 70 Cent is the winner if you want to juice straight leafy green juice or sprouts and microgreen juices, all right? Over on the Dynapro, what's this specialize at? This specializes at juicing fruits and watery vegetables. If you want to juice apples, John, I just want to make apple juice, right? Soft apples in both these machines will make more of an apple sauce than an apple juice. Soft apples in this machine will make actually the highest yielding, most nutritious, best tasting apple juice you've never tasted because you've never done it under vacuum like I have. <laughs> so this is the best juicer for juicing fruits or high fruit percentage um, recipes if you want to do that. Now, if you said, John, I want to just juice straight carrots, what, what juicer would you use? Well, this one won't juice straight carrots. Um, you know, it's just not going to really work. <laughs> I guess you could do it, but it'd be very difficult. This one could easily juice straight carrots. It would not be an issue, but the challenge I see is that you're going to have to push and feed in each carrot unless you want to dice those up. Then you can just drop them in and they'll basically auto feed. For straight carrot juice, I would use the NAMA because I did this the other day. I, I, I had five pounds of carrots I got from Costco, break them all up into pieces, fill this hopper, shut the lid, turn it on, the machine puts out the juice, puts out the pulp, and then I just put in more carrots and it's fully automatic. This one will just take you longer um, because you're actually more doing more physical activity, pushing each carrot in, although the, the um, quality will be higher because of the lower RPM if you are choosing to run it at the low RPM.
So yeah, this one's better for carrots. Now, I know what you're thinking now, you're thinking, John, what if I have a mixed recipe? Well, you know, here's the thing. If you guys have a mixed recipe, choose the dominant vegetable. So if you're going to juice mostly carrots with a few other things, then go with the nama. If you're going to juice mostly fruits with some greens in there, like 75% fruits, and fruits I would consider anything like apples or oranges or watermelons or cantaloupes or even things like um, cucumbers, tomatoes, and bell peppers, I'd consider fruits because botanically they are fruits and they're really watery, then I'd go with the Dynapro. But say you want to focus around greens. John, I want to juice 80% green juices. And I don't want to juice a lot of cucumbers or celery because I want to have low deuterium juices. You're going to have to look that up, guys, because I'm not going to tell you guys about that. Then you want to get the Santa 727. So you can see, right, each machine kind of has their nuances, and you got to choose the right one for you. So as you guys learn, each machine has its own sets of pros and cons, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw out some some criteria besides what you're juicing, what criteria do you have in your mind, features in your head that are important to you, right? And I'm going to shout out basically features that are important, and then I'm going to say which one of the juicers I would choose if that feature was most important to me. So yield. Okay, so if the yield was most important, then I'd go with the Dynapro. That being said, you, you will have to modify some of your recipes because some recipes will not work under vacuum juicing, uh, you know, if it has like high, uh, you know, leaf content without enough watery fruits. Second to that, for nutrition quality, I would go with the Santa 727 running at the 40 RPMs because that's going to introduce the least amount of oxygen. It also has a nice long grind time to basically break open the cell walls a bit more effectively and actually two stages. It has the initial crushing stage, the grinding stage and then has a final squeezing stage that just puts the extra squeeze on the produce in a gentle manner uh, to get a little bit more juice out without adding all the oxygenation that the Nama J2 will. If you want to have the highest quality juice with the most nutrition, which one of these juicers would you choose? Well, once again, I'd choose the Dynapro because under vacuum, you're basically breaking all the cell walls up without the excess oxygen in there that, that damages those viable phytonutrients. Also, the blender, honestly, is more effective at grinding to a smaller particle size, breaking open and destroying the cell walls because all the nutrients are held within the cell. And then you strain it out. So this is gonna make the highest quality juice. The next machine to make the highest quality juice is the Santa 727 running at the 40 RPMs. I've demonstrated this in my video where I juice celery, link down below to that, where I run it at 40 RPMs, there's virtually no foam in the juice. And I run this at 120 RPMs, there's more foam and the yield decreased a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, the Nama, due to the way it works, there's a top cutting blade and then there's an auger and there's a wiping blade that's spinning around, especially if you keep your spout cap closed, your juice is literally spinning around, being oxygenated by the wiping blade. Now this is getting really technical because most people you see using the J2 keeps their spout cap closed when they're juicing. Let everything collect because it looks cool. I don't other, Otherwise, I don't know why they do it. It could also reduce your yield. So I encourage you guys always to leave your spout cap open and not spin your juice any more than needed because you may be lowering nutrients. How much nutrients? Probably not many, but you know, to me, I try to do things as best as possible. John, I am noise sensitive. Which one of these machines should I get if I'm noise sensitive? Well, don't get the Dynapro because that's the loudest. It's a blender and it can get quite loud. The best juice to buy if you're noise sensitive is the Santa 727. When it's running at 40 RPMs, I can barely hear it. And this is the quietest juicer in the world that I've tested to date. After that, of course, the Nama definitely is going to be, uh, you know, a bit louder than the Santa and nowhere near as loud as the Dynapro. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, John, the most important thing to me is I want it easy to clean. Which one of these machines is easiest to clean? So, in my opinion, it's the Dynapro because literally you could rinse out your blender craft, just spray it down with your hose and sprayer in your sink. I take it out actually and spray it down with the, with the garden hose myself. And the Alexis bags, the way these are designed as the nut milk bags, I literally spray these down with my garden hose and I, there's no scrubbing required. I'll have a video on that coming up later this year. So it's super simple, super easy uh, to clean the Dynapro. Number one, easiest to clean. Second easiest to clean is the Santa 727. There's only like about four parts you need to clean on this machine. It takes me about 90 seconds to clean. 
and the hardest of these three to clean is the Nama. I know some of you guys that own the Nama, not John, the Nama isn't hard to clean. Well, you know, that's your opinion, and I, I use other machines that are easy to clean. And you know, here's the thing, this machine takes me like five to six minutes to clean, and I also use the sprayer to spray it down as fast as possible. But then I still need to scrub, especially because of the little uh, lines inside of this. You know, pulp will get stuck in there, and even then I gotta scrub it with some soap a little bit more than these other two to get it clean. And you know, some people online says, oh, the Nama takes me 10 minutes or 15 minutes to clean. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I might talk a bit quick, but also I clean juicers fast because I don't like wasting my time. Now, if what's important to you is the warranty and how long is the warranty, then I would say go with the Santa 77. It has a full 15 year warranty on the motor body and the juicer parts or go with the Dynapro. It has a full 15 year on the motor as well as the carafe. So these are the best two overall 15 years in writing uh, for the whole units. And that's actually an unheard of warranty in the blending industry because most blenders at the longest may have like a eight or seven year warranty. Next is the Nema juicer, the J2. The base has a 15 year warranty, which is great. But the challenge is the top part has only a two year warranty in writing. Although the manufacturer has told me verbally that they will take care of people after two years. But once again, that is not in writing. Now, aside from how long is the warranty, the other question is, is the company gonna be around to support the warranty? So Tribest is the longest standing company in business between all these different companies and I've always had good customer service from Tribest for my customers. Probably the next long standing company is Nama. Uh, you know, they started a few years before the Santa company. And uh, you know, I've also had good experiences of I've had a few reports where there are some cracks in the Santa. Maybe they are, have, uh, they're selling too many juicers for their small amount of staff. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the Santa company, while the company is new, Santa USA is new in the United States. Santa Europe has been in, in business for several years now, but the owner and the vice president of Santa USA has been in the juicing business and selling juicers for over 50 years now combined. So with just know this, with all three companies, I feel you will have good customer support. Um, actually, just off the top of my head, I'd have to say St Santa stands a head and shoulders above the other two for speed of responseness. Like, oh, I mean, it, like Santa responds to my inquiry so quickly, and when I notify them that my customer has had a challenge, like they literally overnight apart, like that same day if it's before like three o'clock. Okay, so if that's really important to you. You definitely want to go with Santa because they are on top of their service game. And uh, you know they know that they're building their brand in the USA and that they want to take care of people. And that's the other thing. If you guys are concerned about getting warranty support and have had read reviews online from other websites about people not getting support with any of the products, not just the, the Nama, Santa, or Dynapro that we sell at Discount Juicers, and you purchase it from Discount Juicers, right? Let me know. I am here to make sure you guys get your warranty support that you deserve after investing in a machine. And I could do that because I have special relationships with all the companies that I represent because I've been working with them and the people involved with them for many years now. And they know the pull that I have in this industry and they want to make sure that my customers are satisfied. So what's the machine least likely to break so that you have minimal downtime if that is important to you, especially if you're taking one of these machines outside the country. That being said, all these machines, if you do use them outside the country of their intended use, you know, you, you will likely void your warranty. I'd say I'd go with the Santa 727. And the reason is this. The reason is this has an auto reverse feature so that you will never stress out your screen so that it can break. This is the number one issue that can happen with other horizontal auger style machines. But because this has an auto reverse, if, it, if there's too much load on the motor, the motor's like, there's too much load, it reverses, unclogs it, and then will go forward and continue to do that until it unclogs itself so that there will not be too much stress on your parts causing a breakage. After that, I'd say go with the Dynapro because literally there's less moving parts on the Dynapro to break. And of course, 
on the NAMO, although they have worked out most of the bugs. I have broken a few parts, actually only one part on the NAMO uh, to date that they have replaced very quickly. So if you want the machine that is going to save you guys the most time and the least effort, I guess least effort, right, in juicing, well we learned the, the Dyna Pro and the Santa is the easiest to clean, um, the J2 honestly is more of a hands-off juicing. You literally chop up your ingredients, you fill it in the hopper, you shut the lid, you turn it on, you make sure you have a catch cup there and a pulp catch over there, and it juices for you so that you don't have to. Um, that being said, you still will have to clean it. Once again, it takes me about five to six minutes to clean, but you're not really actively doing juicing. You're actively cleaning and maybe doing a little bit of prep work, whereas on the Santa, you literally have to feed in each produce item as the juice comes out, and on the Dyna Pro, you have to basically blend things up and then wring it out through a nut milk bag. So if you live in New York City and counter space is very important to you, then which machine should you get? Well, I'd get the NAMA because literally it's the smallest footprint. It takes the smallest amount of area because it's a bit more tall than it is wide. Maybe second to that, I don't know, the Dyna Pro is a nice fat base and actually the Santa also, but basically the NAMA takes the least amount of space and these two I'd say it's almost a wash because this is like a big square but this is kind of more, you know, long and slender and a little bit wider than the Dyna Pro. So if you want a machine that is multi-functions, that, that can do a lot more than just juice, what machine should you choose? That's a toss-up, right? It's between these two because literally the Dyna Pro, you can use it as a blender. You could also use it as a juicer and it might do maybe a few other things. You know, I've made nut butter, if I do straight macadamia nuts that have a high oil content or you wanna add a little bit of oil in with your nuts to get it to blend, straight nuts just won't, most straight raw nuts won't blend because the oil content is not high enough. Although this can also grind flax seeds and do create sauces and other things. So I could see the benefit of having this device that will do a lot more than just juice. That being said, I really got to give props out to Santa because this is the second most useful tool, aside from the blender, you will have in your kitchen because not only can this juice, it has a fine screen for juicing vegetables, it has a coarse screen for juicing fruits, it also has a homogenizing screen for grinding things up and mincing garlic, grinding things like coffee beans, for making things like nut butters and frozen fruit sorbets. In addition, this machine does something neither the other two can, which is you can use the optional cold press oil extractor to extract your own cold press oils, which is totally amazing. I've already done flax seeds in there and I'm going to have a video on using the oil extractor soon and it just tastes so much better than the stuff you guys buy in the store. So yeah, between it's between these two guys, if you guys really want to have a multi-function machine now that the NAM on the other hand, while you can juice in it, and it does have a coarse screen that you can make smoothies with it, in my personal opinion, a vacuum blender is better for making smoothies than a juicer ever will be. And while this machine can also make nut milk, of course, I believe the vacuum blender is also the best appliance to make nut milk. So you guys learned up to this point that each one of these best juicers for 2022 has its own sets of pros and cons. You've learned the produce items that these machines will generally be good at, some of the things that maybe it might have more challenges with. You've also learned about you know some of that criteria. If you want this feature, then get that machine. So you're gonna wanna try to watch this video and try to go over like, well, I want easy to clean and this, and you're gonna pick the machines that are appearing in those categories. You know, maybe one of your categories like overwhelms the others, like John, I really want to juice, but I really like the juicero concept where you literally take the bag out of the oil, out of the fridge, you put it in the machine, press one button, the juice comes out. I mean, that company went bankrupt <laughs> and went bust. Um, but the NAMA is, is the most similar to that where literally it's gonna require the least effort except for the cleaning, you know, that it will take. Um, you know, if you want the highest quality and most yield because you want to save on produce costs, then of course you want to get the Dynapro with Alexa's bags here, the best juice bags, nut milk bags that I found. And it says right here, gets the highest yield, minimize unnecessary waste by getting maximum yield up to 92% in your juicing, which is completely insane. I mean, most juicers may get around 60, 70% yield. 
This one will get you up to 92%, especially important if you guys are buying expensive uh, you know, produce that you want to maximize and wring out. Oh, and the last thing I forgot is to, you know, if you want a commercial quality machine, which one of these machines you could get? Well, the Dynapro is the only machine here today that is certified for NSF or commercial use. Now, of course, if you are using this commercially, you know, the warranty will be shorter than the 15 years. And then, of course, these two machines are made for household use only. Um, and I cannot recommend you use those in any commercial environment. Using them in a commercial environment uh, will likely void your warranty and it will not be valid. That being said, if I had to choose one of these for commercial use, I don't recommend it. I'd, I'd go with the Santa uh, simply because it has you could run the motor like for long periods of time. So as you guys learn, each one of these machines has its pros and cons, has things better about it, things that are not so good about it. And now I want to actually do a juice off comparison for you guys to actually show you guys how long it takes to juice in each one. And I'm pretty much just going to fast forward through it, just do it in high speed so that you guys can just see the overall time it took and the yield it made. So first we're going to go ahead and do a produce weigh-in. Let's go ahead and do a weigh-in over the Dynapro. We got a 1275 over on the Santa 1275 and over on the Nama also 1275. All three scales 1275 so we got a fair fight. So now that we got the weigh-in through we're going to go ahead and do the juicing and I'm going to juice in the Santa 727 first then we're going to juice in the Nama and then we're going to juice in the Dynapro and I'm going to fast forward most of the juicing but before I start I'm going to go ahead and explain the process. So for the Santa, you just want to rotate the ingredients. So today I'm juicing celery and pineapple. So the goal is I'm going to put a little piece of pineapple in and then follow with a whole stalk of celery. Continue to push that through until I'm done. I'm going to actually use speed setting three today, uh, you know, so that it'll be uh, a little bit quicker than normally that I use 40 RPMs. But here's the thing, the Santa puts you in control. You have four different speed settings you can use, like 40 RPM, 65, 90, and then you have a whopping 120 RPMs. This is, even though this runs quite quickly, it's still gonna make a much higher quality juice than a centrifugal ejection style machine. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna juice and you're gonna watch the process. So I guess uh, let's go ahead and get started. Last bit of celery going into the Santa 727. Uh, a lot of the pieces kind of almost, it would almost grab the celery and take it out of my hand and then run it through the machine without issue. Uh, there's a few things kind of hanging out. I'll try to push it in there. I really didn't use the pusher, just use the celery to push things in. It worked pretty much uneventfully. Now, after you put the last piece of produce in, you could just turn the machine off immediately, but then know this, you'll have a lot of excess pulp in your juicer that was not juiced so I'm going to let it run until the pulp stops coming out of, of this little area here and the juice stops dripping which pretty much it looks like we're good so we're going to go ahead and hit stop so that took me uh, 4 minutes and 50 seconds uh, for the juicing process let's couple that with about 90 seconds of cleaning so that will put me up to about 6.5 minutes total um, from juicing and the cleaning. All right, so I like to go ahead and pull the parts off the Santa and just tip this forward and back a little bit, get, a, get any residual juice on there that's gonna come out. There's always a little bit trapped in there. We're gonna go, go ahead and close that spout cap and move that to the side. And you guys can see we have a whole container full of juice here. I am using a sieve on the Santa and the Nama. I will not need to use a sieve on the Dynapro. All right, we're gonna tap out the rest of this juice. Pretty much got all the pulp, and that's the pulp, that's the juice. We're just gonna go ahead and set this to the side uh, while we juice in the Nama. Next, I'm gonna juice in the Nama, and this is gonna require the least amount of work. Basically, I gotta just take this produce out, I'll cut the celery up just so that it fits, and I'm gonna layer in the celery first, followed by the fruit on top. Because of the weight, of the pineapple will help push that celery through. Let's go ahead and get started.
so the Nama is just about done. Um, all the produce is out of the hopper. There's still some residual stuff kind of stuck to the side. So I'm going to try to brush that down because that'll impact the yield. Close that up and try to let it run just a little bit longer. Once again, same thing on the, uh, as a Santa, you want to let this machine, the Nama run a little bit longer until the juice stops flowing and the pulp stops coming out. If you turn off your machine, there's a lot of excess pulp inside the auger area that means you didn't run the machine long enough all right so the pulp has stopped moving out and the juices are just dripping so with the last drips what i always like to do on the nama is we're going to go ahead and pick this up and i like to tip it up, up a little bit just to make sure i get all the juice out then we're going to go ahead and close that spout cap Bring this up front and center, and I do have to say, uh, so far, the Nama has produced the most foam. I mean, there's lots of foam in here, although there's not a lot of pulp in here. So it's like, this is just mostly, uh, foam is aerated juice because of the way the spinner works. And uh, in this recipe, pineapple will tend to foam more, so if you want less foam, juice less pineapple. And I uh, forgot to stop the stopwatch, so it looks like we're at 5.49 now, but it didn't take that long. Probably took around five minutes. Uh, to juice in the NAMA uh, with basically the machine doing all the work, me not having to do a lot of input. That being said, I'm going to pay for it now in the cleaning, and I'm not looking forward to cleaning this guy compared to the other two for sure. This one will take me another five to six minutes to clean. So five minutes plus maybe six minutes, that's up at 11 minutes total to create this much juice, and we're going to find out how much yield we made in just a minute. So up last, we have the Dynapro using it as a juicer. To do this, we'll basically simply blend our ingredients first, and then we'll basically put it through the Alexa's nut milk bag. And we have a two-quart anchor hawking glass measuring pitcher. You could also use a Pyrex. It fits perfectly, or use any other suitable large bowl or even a pot. I like that this is nice and large, and basically would just fit over the entire top. Plus, this is like micro mesh uh, designed in the USA. Uh, welded in the USA, uh, nice quality nut milk bag here, super easy to clean. I kind of look forward to cleaning this one the most. Now this is a process because we're going to have to blend it up first, then we're going to have to squeeze it out by hand. Really not that hard guys, and our hands are really powerful squeezers. You know, um, you don't need an expensive press to do this as I've demonstrated previously, in my opinion. But you will need to pre-cut your ingredients a lot smaller than you want on either the other two juicers because basically you need to put the pineapple in small little chunks first it'll turn into a liquid and then the celery will kind of drop in and get uh, blended up into a mash once again this will not work on straight carrots but if you're doing like half apple and half carrot or even 60 percent apple would be better you know it's going to work uh, you know better although it will be sometimes challenging to blend up some recipes if you don't add extra water my goal isn't to you know add extra water to my juices but if surely if you did that this process would be a lot easier for me personally I want straight juices without any additional water added so I guess with that we're just gonna go ahead and turn on the stopwatch and I'm gonna get going on the process I'm pretty much done with that. Let's go ahead and stop that. The process here took 8 minutes and 19 seconds, and then I estimated about 2 minutes to clean out the carafe and the bag. And then we got all this juice here, so let's go ahead and pour it into the same uh, cup as the others. Now, be aware that when I juiced it, there was very little foam, and then in the process of pressing it, I inter introduced some of the foam. But as you guys can see, there's probably at least pushing another cup's worth, maybe. All right, all right, so let's go ahead and do a close up on the yields as well as the quality of the juices. Let's go ahead and give a close up on the yields, starting with the Santa. 727 
Definitely respectable yield, right at about 925 milliliters over on the NAMA. I uh, got a worn out uh, scale there. But to me, if I had to look, it's probably about like 870 where the juice ends. You can see there's multiple layers there. Um, and you can see there's a little bit different layers on the Santa, um, but maybe 875. And then if we go over to the Dynapro, you guys could clearly see. I mean, that's up over one liter. And if I had to say, what would I say on that? I mean, I'd say that's like approaching 1100 milliliters because this the top of the container gets a lot wider um, so I'd say that's probably like up maybe like maybe 1100 milliliters and if we kind of scale back there you guys could see the differences in yields NAMA made the least took the longest the next the Santa was actually the fastest made the middle and the Dynapro actually made the most yield by far. And also I want to notice I want you guys to notice the colors. Uh, the richer deeper juice in my opinion is the Dynapro. It's a lot nice dark rich green, like really nice dark green. And then a little bit lighter, the lightest color is the J2. You know, not quite translucent or anything, but a lot lighter. And then the Santa made a you know second darkest juice. So what what do we what am I thinking? I'm thinking that the basically the Dynapro did the most destruction to the cell walls because it grounded up, so it extracted more of the green pigments from the celery, and then that's followed by the Santa was the best for destroying the pigments of the celery and, and extracting nutrients, and the Nama I think it's more yellow because it was more effective at juicing, getting the juice out of the um, pineapple and so that's more of the yellowish color that's my personal opinion then over on the top like looking at the foam Nama made the most foam and then followed by I'd say the Santa made the second most foam and the least foam over on the Dynapro or maybe the Dynapro and the Santa were maybe a wash um, but the Santa has been settling a little bit you know because it's been taken a while to do this whole comparison and so you guys learned that the Dynapro made the most Nama made the least and Santa was actually quite respectable so now I want to try the different juices let's see I'm gonna try the Nama juice first mmm that's a really sweet juice man tastes like a juice <laughs> Has like a chocolatey flavor to me. It's weird. Maybe because of the sweetness of the pineapple coupled with the, the bitterness of the celery, maybe. Mmm. Interesting. The Nama juice was more sweet than the Santa juice. So to me, that would mean, once again, the pineapple was extracted more than the celery, my personal opinion. Wow, yeah, that's sweeter. Let me go ahead and taste this one again. Wow, that's more neutral, man. It, it's so amazing the differences that using the juicer could make. Now we're gonna go to the Dynapro juice. Once again, made the most. Let's see what this, does this taste more sweet or not as sweet? Mmm. To me, the Dynapro juice tastes the best. Now, why would I say this? I don't just say it has to do with the mouth feel. And uh, it's just like, it, it tastes more like a cold pressed juice you'd get out of a press. It's just like more smooth. It's kind of a combination. It's not as sweet as the, the Nama juice. It's probably a little bit sweeter than the Santa. But, you know, my bet is on the best tasting juice. I'd say the Dynapro first, Santa second, and then, you know, the Nama third. You know, for me personally, I, I want to get nutrients out of my vegetables. And, yeah, fruits, it's good, it's good to have some fruits in there so that you get the vegetables down. 
but I want something that's gonna really be more effective at juicing vegetables myself personally. So last, I wanna go over the pulps that were created. So this is the Santa pulp right here in this pile. Over here we got the, uh, the Nemo pulp, right? Both pretty big volumes. And over on this side, we gotta, I like to shake down this. And we're gonna go ahead and dump this out. All right, so you guys can clearly see on that one, <laughs> right? Oops, like the, the Diner Pro Pulp it is indistinguishable. I mean, it's just a green blob. If I squeeze this, like, it's just like Play-Doh. <laughs> the fibers are really well broken down. If we go into the, the Nama, we could see, you know, we could pull out some, you know, fairly larger strings. It's a nice more kind of a little bit more wet pulp because obviously it didn't make as much juice so there's more wetness in the pulp. And then over on the Santa pulp, you know, it definitely ground up better to smaller particle size and got the pulp a little bit drier. So that's the end of this episode. At the end of this episode, I'm gonna declare the winner of this episode. The Dynapro made the most yield and then followed by the Santa and then followed by the Nama with this particular test. Although, you know, I find myself gravitating towards using the Nama a lot myself in my personal life. Although I use the other two. Once again, I choose my favorite juicer based on the recipe and my day and task at hand. If a lot of, because I, I, I could multitask when using the Nama. I could get that going and then run off and do a couple more things instead of just sitting there feeding and produce. And of course, you know, I'm just trying to lay it out there for you guys. Nobody really, nobody's videos get into the detail that I do. So once again, I would appreciate your guys' support. If you want to purchase any of these machines, links down below in the description and the first comments that you guys can purchase from me at Discount Juicers and get me on your side as your liaison to get warranty service and to answer your pre-sale and post-sale questions to make sure you are a satisfied and a juicer for a life, which is really important to me. I have seen the differences that juicing can make in your lives, especially as it is the new year now, you guys could attain your new year's weight loss goals, your health goals, and uh, juicing is one of the best ways to include more fruits and vegetables in your diet. If you guys enjoyed this episode, want more videos like this, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, please be sure to share this for, with somebody else that is looking for the best juicer of 2022. It's appreciated. And leave a comment down below. What did you think of this video? Okay. And also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out every five to seven days. You don't know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 600 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to comparing and contrasting all the different major brand juicers so that you guys get the right juicer for you. Links down below in the description for videos that I've used these particular juicers in other juice offs so that you guys could learn more about each of them and their uniquenesses and abilities. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. Thank <laughs> you.